Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the single net return path buyers option inside of the Cadence PCB tools. So there are some instances when you're routing high-speed signals that you want to add a, a via, um, a ground via or a return path via when you're routing every time you place a via for that specific net, you want to make sure you've got a return path via at the same time. Now you can obviously do this manually afterwards, um, but it'd be nice to be able to actually do it as part of the process when you're routing. So if we invoke the, the add connect command uh, and we click on a net and we start to route, I can obviously do a right click add via, double click to add the via, and that would add the default uh, via for that net. But there's also something called a return path via option that allows us to, to set something specifically up. So if we actually look at the settings for this, um, we can effectively choose um, the net name that we're interested in, the actual patch that, that we want to use, and then specify the value of the spacing, the angle, etc. if you want to. So um, I'm going to just hit on the browse button here uh, to pick the net. So you can obviously just browse the complete net that are available in this design. Or I can use the DC net, so if you have a voltage property dis uh, assigned, it would actually just list the DC nets here. So I'm going to pick ground as my, uh, my DC net. Um, the return path via again the browse button and you can pick any path stack from the from the database from the library or you can limit it to just what's uh, available on the physical constraints list for this for this specific net so for the ground net obviously i can pick any of these so i'm going to choose that via as the default one and then i can set some values i'm just going to leave the defaults as they are for now and then click ok so that's that been configured i then need to effectively associate that so i'm just going to say the one via option that would then associate. So every time I double click to add a via, I then effectively get this return path via with it. You can see it kind of rotating around as I move much as my mouse around, depending on the angle that I place the, the first via. So we'll double click again and add another one. Let's just continue up here a little bit. And then we'll double click again to add another one. And I can rotate the position of where the via actually wants to, to end. So once I've done that, obviously you can see there's my my net via there's my return path via slide command so let's go and invoke the slide command click on the actual via itself they're locked together so i can obviously move that via around and it would associate that one together um, which is great if i slide again i can actually do a right click and uncheck the return path wires group so that would then effectively allow me to separate the two vias if i then slide the via again and do effectively enable it again what will happen is that position will then stay based on the position that I've moved it to. So you have quite a lot of control over how this return path via, where it's going to be placed and what you want to do with it.